Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of hemoperitoneum with intestinal obstruction. You can see the liver, gallbladder, and is, the fluid is seen along the hilum of the liver. Blood in abdominal cavity can appear because of physical trauma or blunt trauma in traffic accidents. Even a small hemorrhage can quickly become life-threatening. In severe cases, intestinal bleeding can cause death within six hours of hospital admission. Now you can see the liver and spleen are ecomeco normal. Normal in size, shape and eco texture. So the trauma to these two organs is out of question. The bleeding must have been within the source of bleeding within the, the intestine. The presence of free intra-abdominal gas usually indicates a perforated abdominal viscous. The most common source or most common cause of perforation is a peptic ulcer. Patients with such conditions need urgent surgery. Now you can see a large amount of thick sludge the seen in this fluid, seen in the lower abdominal cavity, in the pelvic cavity. And this is not ascetic fluid, this is the hemoperitoneum, blood in the peritoneum due to the bleeding that occurred in the abdomen, in the abdominal cavity. So the fluid is thick and turbid. Reported motor vehicle clashes crashes MVCS fall from height and assault to the most common are the most common cause of blunt abdominal trauma. The penetra penetrating trauma is mainly caused by gunshot, stab and other objects that enter the peritoneal cavity. Hemoperitoneum, sometimes also called hematoperitoneum, is the presence of blood in the peritoneal cavity. The blood accumulates in spaces between the inner lining of the abdominal wall and the internal abdominal organs. As you can see, a large amount of fluid is seen in the pelvic cavity, fluid cavity. However, the fluid is also seen in the upper abdominal cavity. Hemoperitoneum is generally classified as surgical emergency. In majority of cases, urgent laparotomy is needed to identify and control the source of bleeding. In selected cases, careful observation may be permissible. Now you can see the intestinal obstruction is also there. Is, there are no intestinal movements seen in the lower as well as in the upper abdominal cavity. The fluid is thick and turbid and blood is seen inside this fluid. Car accidents and sports injuries account for some cases of hemoperitoneum. Blunt trauma or injury to, your, to the spleen, liver, bowel and pancreas can all injure the organ and cause the car, kind of internal bleeding. A common cause of hemoperitoneum is an ectopic pregnancy also. Blunt abdominal trauma usually results from motor vehicle collisions, MVCS, assaults, recreational accidents or falls. The most commonly injured organs are spleen, liver, retroperitoneum, small bowel, kidneys, bladder, colorectum, diaphragm and pancreas. The peritoneal cavity contains largely the visceral organs including the liver, stomach, small and large intestine and associated smaller organs in women, uterus, fallopian tubes and ovaries also protrude into the peritoneal cavity. 
and the, in this case the the patient is female aged about 23 years married intraperitoneal organs are commonly wrapped by visceral peritoneum these organs are the liver spleen stomach superior part of duodenum jejunum ileum transverse colon sigmoid colon and superior parts of the rectum you thanks for watching you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks